Okay, so exercise 2.21, they're asking us to find information for relative frequencies and cumulative, cumulative frequencies and other descriptive statistics based on an example of 25 randomly selected students and how many movies they watched the previous week. Well, they find there were between 0 and 4 different movies, and they found the frequencies 5, 9, 6, 4, and 1. So to calculate relative frequencies, we take the number of frequencies and divide by the total number of people that we're being talked to. So the relative frequency for zero movies is 5 out of 25. For three movies, it's 4 out of 25, and so on. Now to find cumulative relative frequencies, we take the relative frequencies and add them up as they go along. So since 5 over 25 is the first thing, there are zero movies, there's no negative movies, that's the first piece of data, we have 0 plus 5 over 25, which gives us 5 over 25 as the cumulative relative frequency. So the first value will always be the same. For the next one, we add 9 over 25 plus the previous cumulative relative frequency, which gives us 14 over 25, and so on. So the next one for two or less movies would be 14 over 25 plus 6 over 25, and then 20 over 25 plus 4 over 25. And then finally, 24 over 25 plus 1 over 25. Now notice, the last value should be 1. Okay, In a fraction form, it will always be 1. In a decimal form, there may be a, a little bit of a difference uh, based on rounding. So you may be off by 1 or 2 hundreds or thousands of a you know, point. But it, will, it should be really, really close to 1. Now to answer the rest of the questions, A, uh, where she's asking for sample mean, uh, B, finding the sample standard deviation, and so on, we are going to use the calculator. So first we turn it on, and we go to stat, and edit. All right. And notice I have data in here already, so to clear the data, if I move to up to the column name, and hit clear, and enter, it will clear out the data. So I want to do that for each column that I have information. So I'm working with empty data. Now in list one, I'm going to put the number of movies. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And in list two, I'm going to put the frequencies 5, 9, 6, 4, and 1. So I have my frequency information here. I'm going to now use this to calculate mean standard deviation, the quartiles. That's again in stat. And we're going to go over to calc. And in calc, we're going to use this one variable statistics, the first value. Okay. And if I hit enter, it asks me on the TI-84 plus and TI-83 um, plus, it has the lists here. If you are using an older version, you're going to need the syntax, and I will put that in the um, information below. Um, but to do this, we have our list is in a list of data. Our list of number of movies is in list one. Our frequency is in list two. So we need to do second two, and that will bring up list two. And now if I hit calculate, it gives me my mean my sample standard deviation, which is S of X. It also gives me my first quartile, if I scroll down. I have my minimum, my first quartile, my median, my third quartile, and my maximum. So I have my five number summary. So all of these pieces are all filled in. So A, B, E, F, and G are all done just by using the one variable statistics. To create the two graphs, the histogram and the box plot, we need to go to stat plot. So if I go to second y equals, that'll bring on stat plot, and hit enter for the first one. This will turn it on. 
what do I want to turn on? I want to have a histogram. So if I come over to the histogram and hit enter, it'll ask me where is my frequencies. Those are all set. I can now go to zoom and scroll down to stat, so which is number nine, and hit enter, and it will make a histogram for me. Always make sure that your graphs are empty, so otherwise you get those lines. <laughs> so now if I go back to graph, I have my histogram. If instead I need my box plot, second y equals, and I go back to plot one, and instead of having a histogram, I'm going to keep scrolling over until I get a box plot. And if I go back to graph, it will show my box plot. So that's how you use this, the calculator to do some of these um, calculations for exercise 2.21.